Another incident that's happened um, this week, on the week beginning on Sunday the 27th of January, was um, I noticed that uh, the children are reflecting something that I do and that I, I felt quite concerned about. And that is that Archie had this great idea about how he could, um, I forgot what it was now, something to do with how they could clean the tools more um, in a better way um, between them. It was like a really good workflow idea. So the children work in the mornings um, to make money. Um, they could just change their attitude and they could move inside, but um, due to the fact that they don't want to change their attitude at the moment, um, and in fact they're quite sternly set that, that they don't want to, or they say that they feel they can't, but I feel that they're actually just quite angry about even having to. Um, they do work to make money so that they can purchase um, pieces for their little house setups, which is a tent and it was a ground sheet of tent, and then they're wanting little gazebos. So one child has a gazebo, the others had a gazebo but it broke, and um, uh, one of the children hasn't actually purchased a gazebo yet, as they haven't had the funds to do so. So they get up to work and also to, to have funds like they, we ask them to, that's a bit of an aside, but we ask them to pay for their own books and their own, um, I like to contribute to certain expenses that are for their personal use or the personal needs. So school books at the beginning of the year, they purchase to that. They need to purchase their own clothes, so they have the opportunity to make enough money and then we go to the op shop and they're, um, which I love op shops and I'm so grateful for op shops um, because it's a very, very affordable wardrobe for a child to purchase and there's some really nice items there um, that, that they can get um, for an affordable price and they can actually earn enough money over, you know, a couple of weeks to get the items they need. So they're working for a lot of, a lot of different um, one it is to make money but, but it's also to help them, well give them the they don't see it as help, but it's an opportunity that I'm giving them in order that they can learn about money, they can learn about um, like self-responsibility, they can learn about purchasing their own um, items, um, you know, personal items, they can learn about the flow of money um, and making choices about saving or spending. Um, there's just there's so many good things about, about it, I feel. Um, and I'm also learning a lot of different things through the process as well. Like, you know, sometimes I want to be, like, give them sort of, I've given them money for nothing, so their attitude is like, we should get money for nothing. And I'm like, well, hold on, if you're ever employed, um, that's not going to go well. And I've had to change my feelings and, when I say, like, I've had to feel some things, which has helped me to beginning to change my feelings about the fact that, hold on, no, I'm the employer. And what I want done is what I get done. They don't get to pick and choose their jobs. They don't get to invent jobs. They don't get to tell me what they're going to do. They get to do what I ask them to do. And they also don't get paid unless they do the job properly and with a good attitude. And attitude is key in our home at the moment. Um, ironically, when I asked the children what, what, what attitude was, they didn't really understand. Um, and so we've sort of defined it for them as the way you feel and do something about something and do something. So um, it's, to do, it's about how you, for instance, cleaning up. You, you don't like doing it. Your attitude, if you had a good attitude, you'd be like, I don't like doing it. Uh, I don't like doing it, but I know it's the right thing to do and I know that it needs to be done. And if I don't do it, then someone else is gonna have to do it. So I need to figure out why I don't like doing it and then deal with the issue and reason why I don't like doing it. And, um, but I'm still going to do the right thing, which would be to help to clean up, but I'm going to figure out those underlying reasons. Um, so to me, it's sort of, you know, like how you approach something or how you look at something is the, the most important part, um, because that is going to dictate the actions that you take. So um, you could have the opposite reaction of like, well, I don't want to have anything to do with it and someone else should do it for me. You know, and your attitude is that you should get what you want. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, the way we feel and, and, and think and the way we approach things. But I feel if you have an attitude that's, um, yeah, wanting to do the moral thing from God's perspective, I mean, doing the right thing from God's perspective, or you have a, a sense of ethics in you and your attitude's like, no, I'm, I'm going to do the right thing even, you know, when I don't feel, you know, like, and then I'm just going to find out why I don't feel like doing that. I think that's good. Okay, so there's another digression. I keep digressing. Okay. So there's an incident this week that um, was quite interesting. 
that well, I find it quite interesting and a little bit sad, and that is that um, Archie had some a very, very good idea about how the children could do a workflow and actually work together in order to um, do a job um, much better than they were doing it. And he went down to the kids, they were working, they were taking wood chip over to, we have a dam and it has sort of like a bit of a island in the middle and they're just covering the island with, with the wood chip. And he went down and he said, he said to the children, he goes, are you okay if we do this, that and the other? And, um, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is not good. And what I realized is, this is what I do all the time. I go, are you okay if, is it all right if? And it's a sort of a, a way, a passive way that I'm trying to avoid conflict or avoid someone to um, not disagree with me. And I'm trying to get them to be nice to me. Um, and I felt really sad for Arch because his idea was really good and the kids were just like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Or oh. you know, they were pretty like non-responsive. And then what he ended up doing is not going ahead with his idea. And, and I felt really upset about that, obviously. And I was like, firstly, wow, this is what I do. And he's reflecting that to me, like, perfectly. Secondly, like, wow, like, he gives up his ideas that are, are really good ideas. Well, this one was, it was a really good idea. Um, just because someone has disagreed with him, that's something that I do. Um, and I thought, wow, this is like such not a good, a good education for him. So uh, it highlighted to me, I need to change that feeling in myself and, and really emotionally deal with that issue because he's picking up and he's now acting on that. And secondly, we had a really big chat about um, just about honoring your own ideas when you have a good idea, you know, like why don't you just do it on your own if, if, if other people aren't doing it. And it brought up sort of how the children have this barter exchange between them, meaning that they, if one does something, then the other will do another thing for them. Or they have this codependence where they sort of are like a little unit and they can't really function properly without the other, which I think is partly the reason why I actually said, oh, well, I won't do it anymore because the other two didn't agree to do it. And so we got to have a good conversation. Well, I don't know how much of the conversation I heard, but um, there was an opportunity for me to discuss some issues with them about, um, yeah, just about desire, about when you have a good idea, doing it even if no one else wants to do it. And really what I was saying to them was what I needed to say to myself and to follow through with. So we'll see, I, I don't know, I don't feel there'll be much change with the children. I think that that will be something that will be ongoing that I'll need to work on. Um, but I know for myself that the children are great. Um, reflectors of, of specific things that are going on in my life and they show to me like every day um, something in fact multiple millions of things um, if I wanted to see them but I'm only often catching certain things that I'm sensitive to seeing at the moment so it was just an interesting reflection of something that happened this week